Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today with a guest design team project for Saw Crafters. I have um, a dresser to share with you, and I do have a mostly start to finish that I will put on this video as well, so if you're interested, then stay tuned for that. And if you have not been to Saw Crafters store, you absolutely have to stop by and check it out. She has just tons and tons, pages and pages of stuff. She even does custom stuff. She has wood uh, cutouts, products. She has um, chipboard albums and products and just the most amazing things. And again, she also does custom things. So check her out on Facebook or her store. I will put um, both the links to her Zivit and Facebook and YouTube, all three actually, down in the description box below. Here's her card. And there's also a discount code that I will put in the description box below if you want to go and check her out. Her prices are very reasonable too. You'll be really surprised. So this is what I worked on here. It's wood, the Wood Fancy Door number two. And just to show you quickly a couple of the products that I used, this is her nine row rosette trim. This is gorgeous. I've used this on every one of her projects and this is all I have left. So I'm going to have to get more of that. And then I used some of her clock hands, which are so beautiful. Here's one, for example. And look how thick that is. These are great to either leave the natural wood color or stain them or paint them. I used one of her door handles, two of her door handles, actually. And also a zipper. I'll show you all these up close on the project. And I used one of her sentiment pieces. And again, look at the thickness on these. I love these. She also has banner styles if you prefer those. I mean, she just has so many things. And if there's something in mind that you have, I'm sure you could contact her and she would make it. I also used one of her numbers. So let me show you the project. Let me zoom out just a little. So here is the dresser. And like I said, I have a mostly start to finish on this. I painted the entire thing two coats of, or uh, yes, two coats of gesso and two coats of white paint. Here is where I used the door handles. And instead of using the hardware that comes with them, I added pearls. I just wanted to keep this dresser very soft. Here is one of her sentiments. As you can see, it says family. I added some pearls. On the top here, I added a row of flowers. These are from Craft Supplies 1, and they're in the white. The, top, the paper that I used is from My Mind's Eye Find Your Wings and Fly collection. Super cute papers. And on the front here, I wanted to add like some molding, some faux molding. So I just glued some chipboard together and painted it and put it on there. I thought it just gave it a little something. I tried my best to keep the front of this sort of plain because I thought about adding flowers and I had to reserve myself um, for what, what I wanted to go for, which was simple on the outside. On the bottom, I put some large pearls for some feet. And if you're going to do that, you have to remember that the doors open and close. So the hinge is right here. So I moved them in just a little. Same with, I kept that in mind when I was gluing the paper down. You don't want to glue the hinges of the doors. So now here in the middle of the doors, I use this. I got this from Walmart and it's in the wedding section. I believe they use it for the bottom of, a, of cardboard for a cake, just decorative. It's by Wilton. So I added that to the middle of the door so you could still see through it, yet um, it gives it some look, uh, some dimension. So here's the inside. Um, I trimmed it off with some pink satin ribbon that I had in my stash, added some flat back pearls. And this is a three by three photo I printed out myself, backed it on some of that same paper made a banner with hearts to go across the top. Here, let me zoom in a little now. 
here is saw zipper I painted it white and as you can see the entire back is that rosette trim the back of this down here this is also another product that I've used so I don't I didn't have a need to show you that's one of her bikes it's a wood cut out as well so I painted that white I added a Jolie's fabric flower in the back in gray here are I have three handmade flowers in here that I painted with some white paint to tone down the pink of them I added several craft supplies one flowers throughout gray and pink I have a clear bobble I have a pen nib, nib from Tim Holtz and it's his moments with some pearls throughout I have an acrylic flower there again from craft supplies one and I have a rhinestone buckle with the large pearl in the center I have the number three and that's from Saw's store I painted that white as well added some pearls the reason I did the number three is because um, my husband myself and and my son are getting our photos taken so I'm actually going to replace this photo once we get the um, our photos developed and taken there's a fa faceted button in the back next to the clock hands that I was telling you about at saws or showing you and to the right there I have a um, chipboard dress form I had that in my stash but I believe that saw has some as well and if not I'm sure you could request them I painted it white and I added some clear distress stickles to them the rock candy and I added a tiny wild orchid craft flower to the side of the dress form and then on the side I, I used the back side of um, this paper I believe So this was super fun to make. I love working with her products. Um, if you've watched my videos, I did a retro TV frame that she has as well. And they, these snap together so well. She even has videos showing how um, to snap them together, but I, it's, they're so easy to put together. And I use a little E6000 to make sure that it stays together. Although once it's all snapped together, it pretty much stays but I'd rather you know not take the chance so if you're interested like I said I have a mostly start to finish um, I cut out a lot of the painting and boring stuff so hopefully the video is not too long and I also have some still pictures at the end so I really hope you run by and check out Saw Crafter store I'll have the links in the description box she, she, it, it doesn't matter what your style is she has something so really amazing product so thank you so much for stopping by and I really hope you enjoyed this project like I said it was a lot of fun to make thanks for watching I'm back and I just wanted to share with you what I have done so far and I did this off camera because it would take way too long of a video to show you on camera I went ahead and painted the entire thing separate before I put it together and I gave it a coat of gesso actually I gave it two coats of gesso and then two coats of white and when I did the white as you can see on the side here I knew that I would be covering most of this up with paper so I just went around the edges um, if I wasn't sure if I was going to put paper on it, then I did the entire thing. But same with on the back. I did not worry about this entire middle part. I just went, I focused on the edges and this, the top as well. And this I gave a few coats because I knew I wasn't covering that up. Then I glued it all together and I used E6000 to glue it together. And once I glued it together, then I gave it another coat of white paint. I was planning on doing a pink, but the paper that I'm going to be using actually goes perfect with white. I loved it against the white. I'm going to, I've already cut my paper out for the sides and the back and the top, and I'm using My Mind's Eye Find Your Wings and Fly collection.
and the other thing is I prepared these. These are going to go on the front of it, which you'll see more in a little bit, but I just want to show you how I did these. I just took thin strips of cardboard or chipboard and I used a little bit of E6000 and glued them together and let them dry overnight and then I painted them. So I simply did this and glued them together and painted them. And again, I'll show you what I'm using those for. They're going on um, the dresser here as well. And the other thing that I wanted to show you real quick is when you get this cut out from Saw, which it's so easy to put together, she makes it so easy and she has videos showing how you put everything together. This here has a slot in the top and there's a little wood piece that you pop out and this will slide right in the top. You can probably see it a little bit better under here. Right there is where the slot is. This little wood piece is the piece that came out of there. So I just adhered it on with a little bit of E6000 and painted right over it and it makes a perfect door stop. And it blends in so nicely you don't even see it. So again, this is the little wood piece that came out of that little slot right there. Just save that, glue that right on there. You can use um, your doors as a guide on how far you want it to go in and it holds the doors perfectly so they don't fall back. Okay, so I'll put it in fast place so you can see what I'm doing. I am using some Mod Podge in matte finish to adhere my papers.